We Great. are good. We'll be even better if later on will we just give you a string of players and you can just cough and tip us off as to what, if anything, might happen in the next 26 hours. Well, don't get your hopes up, boys. We like this young crew. All right. Now, you're saying that, and Rick said that yesterday, and I'm curious, how do you balance the fact that y'all like the team and you like the way the team has been playing versus opportunities might come up to make the team better? Well, I mean, it's pretty simple. You look at the guys that you've got and uh, you ask yourself one question, are the guys that you got better than the guys that are uh, on the other rosters? And that answers the question pretty easily then right there. It like, pretty much now, does. <laughs> I, I, what about what about and then fit? you also you, know, you also factor in team chemistry it's you know it's uh um if you would do something how does that affect team momentum and balance i mean look um we're we're in a, a nice little groove right now um you know i think things are um going in a really good direction so whatever change we make there's going to be some fall off for you know getting a new guy acclimated to um, a rotation that's playing pretty well right now. It's teaching that person the offense and um, how many games are you going to drop in the West when every game is precious? How many games are you going to uh, drop in, in trying to uh, integrate you know, a new guy? Um, so all of those things are a factor. And look, we have a, a locker room that is uh, they're they're getting comfortable. Um, we're playing uh, better. I think the um, you know the, the 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 needles pointed in the right direction. And so I, I'm not saying that you know come the nth hour that we wouldn't you know navigate some deal to upgrade. But you got to really really look hard at. Uh, the team, the rotation, the guys, um, you know, really playing well together before you tamper with it. Donnie, when, I, I want to revisit trade scenario real quick before, before we let you go. And, it, like, I know making a trade is difficult, and obviously trying to find uh, a, a trade partner is, is something you got to find. I mean, finding somebody to dance with always matters a lot. But when do you guys feel a little hamstrung by not having maybe the picks that, that it would take to, to, to knock something out? Not really, because, I mean, look, it's not easy to find. A, it's not hard to find a trade partner. I mean, everyone wants your good players. and They want to give you their bad players, right? <laughs> yes. The, 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 reality, the reality is that we've got four young players we're really excited about. Um, we have a second round pick in this coming up draft, um, you know, that potentially could give us five. And so we've got a young core already as it sits, but we're really excited about these guys. You know, it, to, I would encourage everyone, if you get a chance next year to go up to Frisco, you can see these guys play, get pictures with your kids after the game, um, it's uh, it's a really really cool experience. We're we're right next to the um, Frisco Rough Riders ballpark. That's the Rangers Double A. It's um, a really really cool experience. So if you get a chance, uh, take a peek at that. But no, I mean the youngs that we have have tremendous value around the league, and so in lieu of future draft picks, um, we we certainly have the currency to get a deal done, it's just got to be worth it. And uh, from our vantage point, we love our youngs and we're not, you're not willing to um, really look at anything unless it's an over-the-top move.